The Assyrian eclipse, also known as Bersagel eclipse, was a solar eclipse that occurred on 15 June 763 BCE. It was recorded in Assyrian eponym lists most likely in the ninth year of the reign of King Ashur Dan III. The entry is short and reads, Bersagel of Guzana, revolt in the city of Ashur. In the month Samanu an eclipse of the sun took place. The phrase used, Shamashakalu, has been interpreted since the mid-19th century as a reference to a solar eclipse. In 1867, Henry Rawlinson decided that the most likely match was the nearly total eclipse of June 15, 763 BCE, and this date has been widely accepted ever since. Historians consider this record a most crucial crucial point of reference for providing exact dates of Assyrian chronology before the 7th century BCE. However, the original record is lacking details of the observation. It may have been observed anywhere in Assyria, not necessarily in Ashur in Nineveh. Babylonian calendar. Apparently there has been some controversy on whether the eclipse of 24 June 791 BCE is not a better candidate than 15 June 763 BCE for the possible eclipse mentioned in the record. This depends on when the Assyrians started the lunisolar year. The mainstream view is that the beginning of the Babylonian year was not determined by observing the equinox, but by observing the appearance of certain constellations. In an article published in 2000 Manuel Gerber examines in detail the beginning of the Babylonian New Year in the 8th, 7th, and 6th centuries BC. His analysis of 101 New Year dates between 748 and 539 BC shows that the dates of the New Year shifted. In the 8th century it often began before the vernal equinox. He says that the commonly held view was that the aimed for beginning of the Babylonian year in the 8th century fell about two weeks before the equinox. During the reign of Nabopolassar there was a shift to about 10 days after the equinox, although there still were years when the new year began before the equinox. Gerber concludes, in summary, the situation in Babylonia before the last third of the 8th century seems to agree with the statement in Mul, happened that the vernal equinox fell on Nisan 15. Probably around 730 the aimed for beginning of the Babylonian year was shifted some two weeks upwards in relation to the solar year, so the average New Year's Day fell shortly before the vernal equinox. This holds true for the entire 7th century. Only around 600 did a second shift occur, which pushed the average beginning of the year to about two weeks after the vernal equinox. That the eponym canon solar eclipse is identified correctly with the total solar eclipse that occurred in 763 BC, is confirmed by other astronomical observations from the same period. This has been demonstrated by Professor Hermann Hunger, a leading authority on the Babylonian and Assyrian astronomical cuneiform tablets, an English translation of his discussion is available on the web.